Hello and welcome. This is Rafi from Doric. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up a custom domain name from OVH to Doric website. As you can see here, I have got this website hosted on Doric platform, but it is under this .doric.io subdomain. Now, we want to change it with a custom domain name from OVH. And the process of connecting a custom domain name from OVH to Doric website is really simple. So let me walk you through the step-by-step -step process throughout this video. To start connecting a custom domain name from OVH to Doric, simply we have to click on the gear icon of our targeted website. So let me click on this gear icon. After that, we are going to find this custom domain option. So let's click on this and it is going to show us these DNS records which we have to update from our domain control panel. And here we have got this air record with the at the rate host and here is the IP value which you have to add from our domain control panel and also we have got this CNAME record with this www host and we have to provide our targeted domain name on the proper field from the domain control panel. So let me take you back here on our OVH control panel where we have got our domain. After that click on the domain name that you want to connect to your website hosted on Doric. So let me click on this domain name as I want to point this domain. So let's click on this. It is going to take us to the domain control panel of this targeted domain. So let's just wait while it is loading. And here we go. We are here. Now it's time to click on DNS zone where we have to make the change. So let's click on DNS zone. So after landing here on this page, we have to remove all the A records and all the CNAME records appearing here on this list. So now I'm going to select all the A records. For instance, I'm going to select this one and here is the CNAME record. I'm going to select this one and then we have got another CNAME record. I have to select this one and then I'm going to click on delete. Let's click on confirm. All right, so we got rid of all the A records and all the CNAME records from these pre-default records. Now we have to add new records. So let me click on add an entry. After that, we want to add this A record first. So I'm going to copy this IP value from here. Let's copy. Let's go back to our domain control panel. After that, let's click on this A record. And then we are going to put our target, which is the copied uh, IP address value which you're going to find here. So let's go back again here. Then we have to click on next. After that we're going to click on confirm. And just take a look. We have got our error code added with our Doric IP address value. Now it's time to add the CNAME record. So let's click on add an entry. After that we're going to select CNAME. And on this subdomain field, we have to provide this value, which is www. So let's go back here. We are going to put www here. Then on target, we have to provide our domain name. So our domain name that we want to connect to our website is doricdomain3.com. And now it's time to click on next. Uh, okay. so the subdomain already uses a dns record all right so we have to remove these records to these txt records with this welcome target and we target so we have to remove them so let's cross this out and after that we are going to select them as you can see welcome and we so both of them should be removed and from here we are going to click on delete let's click on confirm all right, so we got rid of these tax records. Now it's time to click on add an entry again. After that, we're going to click on CNAME. Let's type out www and let's provide our domain name here. All right, let's click on next. It should be added now. Yeah, here we go. Now let's click on confirm. All right, so we are done with connecting or pointing the DNS records here from the domain control panel. We have to do a few more works here on our Doric website control panel. So I'm going to copy this domain name from here, which you can actually type out here as well. And then we are going to place the domain name here. So let me paste that domain name doricdomain3.com. So you have to put your domain name on these fields. Now let's click on save change. 
and here you go site published successfully now it might going to take few minutes to few hours to get this setting works and to get our website loading under the domain name so let me try this as of now is it is loading or if we have to wait but if it is not loading we don't have to be worried it is going to work perfectly fine within like few minutes to few hours so this was the process how we can connect a custom domain name from ovh to our doric website i believe you have found this video helpful thank you so much for watching and being with us have a good day bye bye